Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm back with another video and in today's video we have a Dell laptop but the topic is not what brand that laptop that I have here and in today's video I'm just based on the request you guys putting through and showing asking me how to install Windows 11 without, on a, without having an internet connection because once you finish installing it would say connect to the internet and what if you don't have it you cannot proceed with that so I'm gonna use a really easy way. You can just do that without any tools or any other additional programs or anything like that. It's really easy, just one simple line. I'm gonna go install a Windows 10 in here and I'm gonna get to the desktop without internet connection. I'm gonna show you step-by-step step how you can do that if you wanna do an offline mode installation. All right, so first I'll make a video how to create your Windows 10 or 11 USB boot drive. That link will be in the video description. So once you have your Windows 10 or Windows 11 boot drive, in this case, Windows 11, you wanna place it in a, any USB port on your laptop. Then all you need to do is, let me just put it like this so you guys can see it. Uh, I think like that it will be fine. You wanna power on the laptop. In this case, on their laptop, you're gonna tap on F12, mostly is F12, except on HP, HP is F9. You want to press F12, and then it's going to say prepare one time boot, and it's going to give you where you want to boot from. I'm going to boot up from the UEFI boot, so I'm going to go there, find my Kingston Data Traveler USB, press enter. Now it's going to start restart and come back, and it's reading the USB, and it's going to take me to the installation process. All right, now we first we're gonna choose your language next, click install. So give it a few few seconds. Now you wanna click, I accept the terms and condition next. And you wanna click on custom, Windows only advanced, click on that one. And you wanna erase every volume that you have, just click delete and delete everything. You might have few. And it, Make sure you backed up your files because you're erasing everything you have. Once it's a drive zero, unallocated space, and then you want to just click simply next. You don't want to click new. Click next, automatically it's going to create the partitions and it's going to do everything else. So now it's going to do a few restarts and it's going to go right through the uh, Windows Welcome. And right there, I'll be back. I'm just going to fast forward this part to the um, auto process to the welcome screen. All right, it did it first restart. It's going to prepare to the windows. All right, now it's gonna go to the welcome screen. It took about five minutes. All right, now that we are in the uh, welcome screen and it is gonna ask us to click the country region and stuff like that, next, yes. And it's gonna say your keyboard style, click yes and add keyboard escape and right here is going to ask you to connect to a network there's no other icon in here you cannot escape here unless you connect to a network and this is what we're going to resolve right now so you can see right beside the next icon which is grayed out you cannot even click on it you cannot there's nothing beside it so in here all you need to do it's really simple all you want to do is click shift f10 and it's gonna pop up a, a command prompt right here. So what you wanna type in the command prompt, it's on the capital letters, you wanna type O, O, B, E, and you wanna put a backslash, and you wanna type by, pass, N, R, O. So we type O, O, B, E, backslash, bypass, NRO, all in a capital letter. 
Once you have that, you want to press enter, it's going to restart the laptop and it's going to come back again to this welcome screen. And once we come back here, you're going to see an extra icon a link right in here. So press enter and it says just a moment, it's going to restart. All right, now that we are back in the same spot right now again, but this time there's gonna be a little tiny changes. So you wanna click yes. You're gonna click your keyboard again. Next, and it's skip keyboard layout. And in here, it's gonna say connect to a network, but also you have, it says, I do not have an internet connection right here. So you're gonna click, I don't have an internet connection. In here, you're gonna click continue with a limited setup. There's nothing limited about it. You just click continue without it. You can create your internal uh, account name. I'm gonna create laptop and click next. For the password, you can leave it blank. You don't have to create anything. If you want to, you can go ahead and do it. Click next. And now in here, you wanna remove all these check so they don't spy on you if you are freak about uh, your privacy. Just remove everything and click accept. Now wait until you get to the desktop. Once you're in the desktop, you can just co connect to the internet and do a Windows update and you're all set to go and you have all the features, everything in there. There's nothing limited about it. And that's how you can install Windows 11 without any uh, internet connection or do an installation on an offline mode. I hope this video helped you guys out. If you have any question or requests, feel free to leave them in a video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. I'm just gonna wait for it to go to the desktop and then I will power off this laptop. And there we have it. We are in a desktop and if you want to, you cannot, you can connect to internet without any issue. And that's it for today's video.